Here are my thoughts on LeBron James opting out of his Miami Heat contract. Now, a lot of people are annoyed with the fact that LeBron did yet again abandon his team when he realized that things weren't going so well for him and that his future there was had a diminishing return, basically. Yeah, it's gonna be a new my new filler word, basically. Other than that, we've seen his repeated self with him taking his talents to South Beach, opting out of his Cleveland contract, and a lot of people are calling LeBron a traitor, or they're just calling him disloyal, greedy, selfish, and a lot of people are empathizing with him too, because at the end of the day, you want the most money for yourself. It's obvious that Dwayne Wade isn't the same Dwayne Wade he was in 06. Chris Bosh is becoming more and more useless as the years and the seasons go by. Uh, most of the other guys are trash or overhyped, including Chris Anderson slash Birdman and Ray Allen. So, other than that triumvirate that they had, that triple threat that they had, there's not much to say about the Heat. And let's not forget the fact that LeBron is pushing 30. He's getting up there in age, and he failed. His team failed. Each and every one of those players and people working for Miami Heat failed to have a three-peat to win thrice in a row for the NBA Finals. Which is enough to discourage anybody. He wants the most bang for his buck. Let's be honest, Miami as a sports city sucks in general. There's not a lot of good things I have to say about Miami, the city, and Heat itself. He's driven towards success. Is he a Michael Jordan? Hell no. But... Unlike a Jordan, LeBron still sees something to pursue in basketball. Jordan got bored when he repeated and he won thrice in a row. And he decided to move on to baseball to dominate something else. And then he went back to basketball once more. But LeBron still has a lot to prove in ter terms of how good he is as a basketball player and how talented he is, and how many accolades he can ascend as a player. There's so much that he can do, and he may need a new team to prove it. Am I completely supportive of him abandoning the Miami Heat? No. I actually like the Heat, as I've said before. Not in a straightforward way, where I like the way they play, but they get people speaking. And with LeBron gone, let's be honest, Miami Heat is not going to have the same level of hype that it did before. It's just going to be another boring East Coast team. Or Eastern Conference team. So, while LeBron should move on to bigger and better things, he should plan ahead for the future, and he shouldn't be attached to things that are going to harm him we also have to realize that this is an opportunity for the heat to prove themselves that they still are a good team with or without lebron james and that with if they get that same level of fire that they had maybe a few years ago they could ascend to past glories to glories that they had not too long ago. Hell, they could even ascend to better glories. After all, they're all talented and they didn't do that well in the past. It's not like LeBron dominated 2012 and the 2012, 2013, and 2011, 2012 season 
the way he should have. There was still room for improvement. And that's all that really matters. Having that fire, having that edge. Because talent is one thing, but drive is another. And we've seen time and time again that LeBron is a passive guy. That he tends to be really uncommitted, especially in the fourth quarter. Now you see him, now you don't. But he definitely is driven. Sometimes that fire can be easily extinguished. But that fire will always come back. It's always there. And he just needs something to keep it alive. And he needs the team to beat her for him and with him. So that's all I gotta say. Sorry I gross y'all motherfuckers out. I need a razor ASAP like Rocky. This is Mr. Walker 7 and suck my dick.